Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my Namrata. I'm Namrata and today I have something a little different. I have a basically a plants haul for you. I've basically gotten back into, you know, gardening. Initially, I was into gardening and then I stopped in between because of course I shifted cities after my marriage and I, you know, just got caught up. But now the love of, you know, plants is definitely coming back. And especially where I am right now, Delhi has oh, basic such problems of pollution and I'm totally allergic and guilty of being very allergic with you know the pollution that is around so I found a few plants or basically did a research and basically came across a few plants that are air purifiers and basically you know remove the pollutions uh, from your surrounding environments and I thought was yes that's so great that's what exactly I need and of course uh, plants always you know were a beckoning to me so I went ahead and you know drove my husband of course nuts the poor man definitely is a sweet and enough to take me but uh, yeah uh, I went ahead and I got a few plants which I would like to share with you so that if you are interested you can you know go ahead and uh, get them for yourself you know even have that air purification and you know pollution free uh, house and uh, why not do it something which with is which naturally rather than get uh, you know those machines if plants can do that for you why have those machines is uh, that's what i'm trying to get at so why don't we start with the, the few ones which are near my uh, you know in my bedroom right now and uh, the next we're gonna go is uh, outside in the living room and i'll show you what i have though okay guys uh, so the first plant i have is a indian rubber plant uh the scientific name i'll try and link down in the descriptions uh this baby uh, just cost me 100 rupees which is like yay uh, because if you go and search them online it's like stupidly very high price which should not be the case i think if i got it for 100 you should be getting it around that price or even lower or uh, depending on which nursery or which locality you are and you know with what convenience and ease you have that but uh, this particular plant is a low light plant it needs uh, moist soil and it does well you know basically if you wipe its leaf and just take care of it you know and uh, it's a pretty much sustainable so this is what i love and what i basically do love if you notice this is burgundy color and the shiny leaves can you see that guys it's so nice and shiny wow isn't that fascinating so that's what I love about this, you know, particular rubber plant. And it's a very good air purifier. It removes quite a lot of toxins in the air. So that's why I brought one. I have one more which is in the living room, which I'll show you in a while. But this one is in my bedroom as of now. The next la plant that I have is basically a Signonium, if I pronounce that right. Uh, if I'm butchering the names, I'm so sorry. Uh, but this particular thing, I just like the leaf of it. And uh, I know that this is another air purifier. What I didn't know was, uh, when I was, was researching later on, I found out that this is also a, a feng shui uh, particular plant, a good luck plant, which is, you know, produces, uh, you know, uh, good vibes in your house. So if that really does happen, it's a good thing that it ha it's here. And uh, of course, this is another low light plants. Basically, all my plants that I've got are for indoor environments, which you don't need a lot of sunlight. They need some indirect sunlight, like what's coming in. Uh, and, uh, you know, just the particular water thing. I've actually replanted all of these today. They were in bags. So I've just replanted them, watered them, you know, and I kept them in these particular corners. And hopefully, as you see, you can see, there's a paper over there, which I need to get a plate because I ran out of, you know, those plates. But uh, this is another very good air purifier plant uh, and uh, if you really like these kind of leaves which are like a, like a arrowhead, I think believe this that's also called an arrowhead. So definitely get that for your house. It's another air purifier which you're going to love. Now the next beautiful green which I always loved even when I was in Bombay Pune is the fern. This gorgeous thing is another good air purifier. Loves to be moist, loves to be uh, well watered and loves low light conditions. And uh, you know, hopefully this still needs, as it's new, I've replanted it. Hopefully it thrives. And uh, the best way, you know, to buy any plant is to check, especially for ferns, is, you know, if there are new buds coming out like this one. There are quite a few, one, two, three so you know that the plant is definitely having going to have new leaves so that's a good indication of going ahead and buying that thing so and if you can notice 
these black spots behind sorry not a focus there we go these black pots pods over here are basically seeds uh, which should basically fall off you know and germinate the soil more to uh, you know give you more particular fern growth bathroom and uh, let's hope in the next few days and see hopefully they do well so this is a good thing now i know the next question is going to be you know what are they doing next to the ac but this corner i have was pretty much empty and i don't have anything else over here so i basically just kept them here and these plants definitely when the air conditioning is going to be on are going to go outside in the living room or into the balcony uh because you definitely don't want to kill these plants in the ac and they're not going to stay so stay here forever so it's going to be a job for me to move them at the night time you know towards the living room or towards my balcony outside uh just to make sure that they're not in a very cold environment and that they don't die so don't worry that you know they're going to be tortured to death or something as you can see the next fern that i have is in my bathroom kept over here and it's pretty much i think happy because this area is always moist so it looks good in this corner of the bathtub and uh, this is the second fern that i have and hopefully it will thrive which we will know in a while yeah, i mean not in a while i mean in a few days but you get the gist of it so the next one i have is this gorgeous peace lily which is a quite a humongous size and uh, this is again is a low light plant that's doing well as you can see from the deep green i basically wipe my plants every morning nowadays so i think that's making them pretty much happy they like that a lot and uh, it's again you know this is one of a very difficult plant to you know kill so basically if you're looking uh, for a plant that you know you want to have low maintenance on don't spend too much time is this one plant and uh, the best thing is that if the peace lily is in any way thirsty or you forgot to you know water it it basically you know sags it little droops it little and as soon as you put water after a while you'll see that the leaves have basically uh, stand stand stood up basically so that's another uh, good thing to have at the base you see is two succulents i don't know the name of this one i still have to find out the name of this one i just liked it such a individualistic you know basic uh, succulent that i found that i just got it i still have to investigate on which kind this is all i do know that is a succulent uh, so that's one standing there because i like you know the basically the way the height uh, is going around and this i believe is a hotronia or how do you pronounce that i'm putting it again i'm not even the one of you know try it's another succulent so this is also doing well it's pretty wet which is strange because i know succulents don't need to be watered that much so i'm going to let this baby dry out it's kind of a desert plant or actually is a desert plant because you know they're thick because they retain quite a lot of water in themselves so the these basically depending on the environment depending on you know whatever is their soil level is need to be watered i guess once a week or you know once in two weeks so basically these are my two succulents that i have next one near my television and basically the buddha is gone again i've kept it on paper because i am lacking uh, uh you know particular plate so that i have to get that but i'll get that soon enough and this is again a aurelia which i've just replanted i have to clean up these particular pot from the outside uh but this is an aurelia which uh, i have it's a variegated version and uh, these are again very low maintenance very easy to you know basically grow and uh, you can even basically make bonsais out of them if you you can just you know twist these particular soft arms especially when they're green not when they get brown like this one's green so if i want to get another shape out of it i can just twist it around you know you can even uh, get those wires like bonsai things that they have but i basically you know i did a bonsai last time just by twisting the soft green you know uh, particular branches and stems and uh, that's how i had got my a uh, particular bonsai the next one again i have is another aurelia which you can see hold on let me just change my position hopefully you can see there we go is a gorgeous green variety the original one and again it's been reported into a new particular pot and of course this is my other rubber plant which is of course which i bought first in the poor thing was in such a sad condition in the nursery that i basically got it thinking and hopefully hopefully i can rescue the baby because it's doing well there is another you know leaf coming up and the new leaves are glossy but if you can see the bottom ones they are pretty much damaged 
so hopefully by looking and i think it'll do it there's another leaf that's coming up so hopefully fingers crossed i can rescue this plant because it's in a poor bad condition but hopefully it does well in you know the current environment that it is in the next i have is a variegated money plant cutting uh, which i'm just trying to you know uh, propagate basically let's see how that works i also have one you know particular rubber plant i don't know why i put that there but i just put that in because i just didn't want to throw the leaf so let's just hope that this money you know variegated money plant uh, propagates and uh, i can get a new plant because i want to put something in my kitchen so i'm propagating it for that, those particular reason the next i have is the gorgeous zz plant now the zz plant or the zamia plant is a good air purifier plant and uh, all these plants which i've showed you are basically you know low light plants they are, they have like minimum water needs or you know uh, as per whatever their environment is and uh, they this this is like a lovely you know if you can just see how the leaves grow like a sideways they're so beautiful like almost like a flowering you know almost like a flower that's what i love about this so this is another good air purifier plant that i got for my the next one i have is a carousula which is a, again a succulent plant uh, you know basically near my uh, television box and this is again a very hardy plant you can't kill it so easily or very with minimal water needs can live in sun can live in low light so it's pretty much adaptable so this is another thing which i've got i think i need to put this in a bigger bigger you know jar because i believe the stemming system as you can see is coming out yeah i definitely need to transfer this into something bigger so i'm going to look for that and this is another thing which is which i have the last one i have is a philandrum and this baby oh no this is not the last one i also have a snake plant which i'm going to show you this baby philandrum which i got you know so yesterday i was in so much in love with these leaves it's also i believe called as the uh, lacy tree it's a very good air purifier very good to have in your house so my last plant which is in my second bathroom near the washing machine and this is a snake plant and the best thing about the snake plant is that it can just thrive without water in absolutely no light almost very very low light and uh, you know even if you get to water in it in a month this baby will suck over basically survive it's very difficult to kill this one so if you have some dark you know not enough light or very dark environment i mean you know not completely dark but some kind of a light coming into your uh, particular you know area this plant will definitely thrive where others are not thriving and plus it's uh, not easy to kill this particular plant so definitely try the snake plant uh, in case you have any more suggestions for other plants actually i do want a few more plants which are good air purifiers uh, if i forgot to mention even the snake plant is good for removing toxins in the air uh, and is a good air purifier plant uh the other plants which are good for air purification is the monsera which i definitely want to get it but i can't find it in a nursery anywhere nearby and uh, the fiddle fig leaf plant yes that's the one the ficus lyrata i want to get one of that which is another good for your environment basically air purification it, and basically what i've read about the fiddle fig is that it removes bacteria and fungi from your environment so that's another reason why i want to get that particular thing which i can't locate it and uh, the third one basically as of now that i want to get is the peperomi pep peperomia i hope i've not butchered that the peperomia these technical names are so difficult the peperomia plant is and the one which i want to get is again a good i want those uh, you know the watermelon kinds i want that kind of particular i don't know the you know technical name but i'm going to put my wish list of my plants as what i want in the description bo uh, box below you guys can check it out that's it for my plants haul in case uh, you know you guys know where i can get these particular plants that i spoke about uh, online which are delivered to me safely and hopefully at a reasonable price 
do let me know in the comment section below and uh, of course what are your favorite plants what do you like uh, i would be very much interested to know what are the plants i can get for my home environment to make them you know more purified and uh, you know toxin free so i'm very much interested in that uh, in case you like this particular video please do subscribe to my channel like and comment until the next time bye